Hey everybody, welcome to Fun Facts. If you are seeking information, you are at the right place. Today, we're going to go over the most amazing top 10 facts about Doug Batchelor. Make sure to watch until number 1, because it's one of the most amazing facts you will ever see. Number 10, Doug Batchelor's life has taken him to extremes on several occasions. In the course of his long and winding journey from antisocial drug user to president of a worldwide ministry, he has developed into an engaging speaker with whom audiences around the world can identify. Today, he serves as the senior pastor of Granite Bay Church in California, as well as the president of Amazing Facts Ministries International. Doug Batchelor is the host of the weekly television show Amazing Facts with Doug Batchelor, as well as the Bible Answers live radio program. Number 9, in spite of having everything money could buy as the teenage son of an aviation tycoon, young Doug was unable to find true peace and happiness in his life. In his youth, he engaged in fighting at school, entertained suicidal fantasies, and eventually ran away from home when he was only 15 years old. As a result of his troubles, Number 8, Doug, who was dissatisfied with life and convinced that it had no meaning, was determined to live life to the fullest, recklessly abandoning everything. He became addicted to drugs, committed crimes, and served time in prison, all while living a life of high adventure, from stormy seas to blistering deserts. On the outskirts of civilization, years later, however, he found refuge in a remote cave high in the mountains above Palm Springs, which he named home. Doug ended up scavenging for food in garbage bins despite the fact that his father owned a yacht, a private jet, and a Rolls-Royce automobile. Number 7, the happiness Doug sought eluded him for years until the day he discovered a dust-covered Bible that had been left in his cave by a previous resident of the cave. In the course of his reading, he came to believe in and accept Christ as his savior. Pastor Doug Batchelor is a dynamic public speaker who has an uncommon ability to communicate not only with churchgoers, but also with those who aren't religious in any way. His spontaneous, lively humor and down-to-earth approach to living the Christian life engages and brings hope and meaning to people of all ages and from a wide range of socioeconomic backgrounds. Number 6, Doug and his wife Karen have five children, making them number 6. His hobbies include playing the guitar, scuba diving, and racquetball, and he currently resides in Sacramento. He shares the same passion for aviation as his father and is a licensed pilot. In addition to caveman theology, broken chains, at Jesus' feet, the gospel according to Mary Magdalene, and who do you think you are? He has written several books. Number 5, Amazing Facts was founded in Baltimore, Maryland, in 1965 by Joe Cruz. Joe Cruz's original goal for Amazing Facts was to reach out to both Christian and non-Christian listeners via daily 15-minute programs that began with a scientific or historical fact and then explained how it related to the overall biblical message. This goal was inspired by the success of the rest of the story, hosted by Paul Harvey. Later on, the program included accompanying home Bible study courses, as well as books written by Cruz himself. Among other things, Amazing Facts began a television ministry in 1987, which has grown to include four programs as well as a periodic evangelism series since that time. Cruz appointed Douglas Edward Batchelor, better known as simply Doug Batchelor, to the position of president speaker shortly before his death in 1994, and he has held the position ever since. Today, the Amazing Facts radio program Bible Answers Live broadcasts primarily from Sacramento, California, on Sunday evenings to approximately 155 radio stations across the country, according to the organization. Number 4, as a pastor, Bachelor can also be seen when he is preaching at the Sacramento Seventh-day Adventist Church which is broadcast live on television as Central Study Hour and Everlasting Gospel on local stations, as well as via satellite on 3ABN and Hope Channel. Bachelor was one of many celebrities who appeared on the documentary God on My Side, which was hosted by Andrew Denton and aired on the Australian Broadcasting Corporation, ABC, television channel in 2007, the 63rd National Religious Broadcasters Convention, which took place in Dallas, Texas, was the subject of this episode. The documentary aired as part of Denton's weekly show Enough Rope, which was normally comprised of a one-on-one -on -one interview with a well-known celebrity. It is important to note that the ABC, the program, and Mr. Denton in no way supported or endorsed the activities of Bachelor or his organization. 
Number 3, Doug Batchelor's emotional reunion with his long-lost twin brother, who turns out to be an American scientist, Nobel Prize winner, and professor at Columbia University named Martin Chalfie, is the third piece of news unrelated to the papacy or women's ordination to the priesthood to be discussed here at length. It was truly amazing to meet him. And he has a mustache just like me," said Bachelor of his encounter with the actor. He stated that he was taken aback when he learned of Chalfie's existence because the two had been separated at birth and had grown up in completely different environments. Number 2, a similarly surprised Chalfie stated that, despite the fact that he and his Adventist brother look alike, he himself has never even considered the possibility of living in a cave. Chalfie has also stated that, in stark contrast to the surprisingly agile Bachelor, he does not perform backflips in front of large crowds of spectators. As Chalfie confessed, I'll be honest with you, I'm a little jealous that those acrobatic abilities were not shared with me. One backflip during a lecture would earn me a ton of street cred with my Columbia students, says the professor. Number 1, Never One to Shy Away from New Experiences Bachelor openly mused on his Facebook page about checking in with Chalfie to see if he would be interested in a week-long life swap. I'd like to see if he'd be interested in a week-long life swap. I could start giving chemistry lectures at the university level. And he could possibly organize a week of prayer. We'll see if anyone notices if anything. Subscribe and turn on notifications to get informed, so you don't miss more videos of the most amazing top 10 facts and much more. Check out this playlist for other amazing top 10 facts. And remember guys knowledge is power. With AP. Peace.